Following a questionable hire at Albuquerque's public schools, state officials are now making sure every single district is safe for kids. So you might remember APS hired an accused sexual predator from Colorado as its deputy superintendent and didn't have him complete a background check. Well, Action 7 News anchor Angela Brower is live at APS this morning with a story that you'll only see on 7. Angela. Hey, Todd Mercy, you're probably talking there about Jason Martinez. As you mentioned, he was hired at Albuquerque Public Schools but resigned August 21st. He ended up back in jail after that for leaving the state that he was accused in. But as you can imagine, parents and teachers, a lot of people were outraged by that hire. After news of his alleged crimes actually hit the news, even Governor Susana Martinez, Attorney General Hector Balderas, Education Secretary Hannah Scandera, they were all upset, saying that APS dropped the ball. Now the public education department is basically auditing every single school district statewide to make sure there are no gaps. So first step was districts please turn in your your board policy around background checks. All of our districts met that deadline, turned in their policies. The next step was we want verification around your um, district administration and your new hires that you've actually kept your policy. And then they say they're asking districts if they need to, how are you going to get into compliance? How are you going to fill those gaps? Here's the thing, Todd and Marissa. State law says that it's teachers after 1998. If they were hired after 1998, then they do have to have a background check on file. The state uh, officials that you just heard from, they are now going to the legislature to actually try and get that changed. They want every single person that has been hired by a district to have that background check as well. Reporting live at APS this morning, I'm Angela Brower, KUAT, Action 7 News.